Hey y'all, it's Kelly. I wanted to make a video after Jazzed 04's, Christina's video about depression because it really touched me. Um, I wanted to say first of all that, Christina, I was so impressed with what you had to say. Um, I actually had to write everything that I was going to say down so that I wouldn't forget. Um, you did you did something that few of us will do in this day and age. You stayed in a marriage for 20 years to make sure that your child had a good upbringing. And I just, I mean, I can't even tell you what that says about you. Um, it's a hard thing to do. I know, um, there, I know that I have been married, and I was married for, for 15 and a half years, and, there are times that I think that I really should have stuck it out, but I didn't because I wasn't happy. And, um, and you know, I don't think that my, I don't, I don't think that my children suffered because of it because we parted as friends. But I admire you for denying yourself to make sure that your child had a good upbringing and not deciding to focus on yourself until he was grown and out of the house. Um, it just amazes me. I cannot imagine what you must have went through. That must have been so depressing to live that life. And, you know, I mean, of course I have questions about it because I'm confused. Um, you know, I mean, oh gosh, what can I say? Um... I know that your son has got to be a really good boy because he has got to have awesome values because of you. And I want to apologize to you that your family, your parents disowned you because you came out. And um, I know that must be painful. Um, my mom died in 97 and we had a lot of rocky roads when she was alive and that's a whole nother video in itself but you know even though we had rocky roads throughout our relationship and she's gone now I, I have a hard time you know I, there's times that I think about I, I wish that I could ask her this or I wish I could call her and tell her this and and just the other day boy she would be so proud of me if she was to see that I was actually losing weight and that I was on, that I had had a gastric bypass because she begged me to have one for years. Um, so I can just imagine, you know, in a different sense, that there's got to be times in your life when you look and you, um, that you want to call your parents and you call your mom and or call your dad and say, you know, guess what? I had gastric bypass surgery. And, you know, my life is changing. And, or guess what? This really good thing happened to me. Or I'm so happy. And then you can't do that. So I am so sorry that you have had to live through that. Because I, I, I know that you've got to be hurt over that. Um, one of the things that I wanted to ask you um, is... Did your husband, did he know that you were gay? Uh, when you sat down and talked to him, did he, did he acknowledge the fact that maybe he knew something wasn't quite right? Did your son ever, ever guess it? Um, I mean, it just, it just makes me wonder if, if you had these conversations. I know kids sense a lot of things, and, excuse me, I still have a cold, and it makes me wonder... You know, did they ask you things like that? And did your whole family, did you, did they all disown you, or was it just your parents? Do you have any brothers or sisters? Um, is there aunts and uncles and cousins? Do you keep in touch with any of them? You know, and, uh, um, you know, and I just, I'm amazed at how positive that you are, given what you've been through. And I'm sure you haven't even touched on it. Gosh, we could tell each other our life stories, and it would take video upon video upon video to get them all out. So, I, I'm sure that you haven't told us even the tip of the iceberg. So, uh, I appreciate you for sharing what you did with us, because I know that it had to be hard. Um, 
it's made me have to take a look at my life and you know the things going on in my life right now and in the past and the things that I want to share with you and with everybody about depression as well because I have been depressed um, I'm already at five minutes and 20 seconds so I think that I'm gonna have to do another video because you know I'm a talker and I am the uh, uh, what's the word uh, I am the holder of the 10 minute video I mean I am just you know I do the 10 minute videos I apologize that I look so horrible today I didn't put my makeup on, and uh, my hair looks awful. I really think it's beginning to fall out, because um, it just seems thinner in front. And something else I noticed, I colored my hair a couple months ago, and I don't know if you all can see this. I don't know if I'm losing my hair over here, or if it's just that it's white. But I've suddenly got a white spot right here. <laughs> and I guess it's just, it's it's my age you know I am 44 so I guess it's about to hit you know and of course we know about these bags under our eyes um, but anyway so I'm gonna make another video after this one and I want to tell you a little bit more about stuff um, but I just wanted to make a special video just to you because I do admire you so much and you inspire me um, and I feel I feel gifted to to be able to talk to you and to see videos from you and to know what's going on in your life and and for you to to comment to me and tell me how good I'm doing and stuff like that because the support really does matter everything that you do matters and um, and I love you and I'm just I'm just tickled to death to have you as a friend. So you take care of yourself and watch for my next video. So I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.